Hi, my name is Stephen Walther. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can unit test controller actions in an ASP.NET MVC application. Now, there are two very different audiences who might be interested in creating unit tests. First, um, you might be a tester. And in that case, you'll be interested in building unit tests to, you know, ex to test an existing application's logic to make sure that everything works as, as it's expected. Um, the nice thing is the ASP.NET MVC framework was designed to be very testable. It was designed to support a very clean separation of concerns. So I think you'll be very happy with the uh, sort of experience of trying to test an ASP.NET MVC application. Now the other group that will be interested in unit tests are people interested in test-driven development. This group, while this group is interested in unit tests, they're they're fundamentally focused on they're primarily focused on using unit tests to drive application design. Um, they want to write their tests first, and then write their application logic to satisfy the test. And they're using this as a design methodology. Um, the ASP.NET MVC framework was designed with this group of programmers in mind and it's just a beautiful framework for ASP.NET MVC is just a beautiful framework for doing test driven development so I think you'll be very happy with what I'm showing you today. So um, I'm actually going to show you how to create a number of different types of tests. I'm going to show you a number of different ways of testing controller action. Um, first I'm going to show you how to test whether a particular view is returned from a controller action. So you might you know, want to call um, like the index controller action and make sure that the index view is actually returned when you call the index controller action. Um, I'll show you how to test that. I'm also going to show you how to test uh, view data. So I want to show you how you can test whether you know, the expected data was returned from a controller action. So you call you know, a, uh, a get product controller action. You want to make sure that you get a particular you know, product back from it. Um, that's very easy to test as well. And finally, I want to show you how to test you know, other types of results, um, other uh, results from a controller action. So, you know, for example, you're testing controller action and you want controller action to automatically redirect you to another action. How do you test that? Well, that's also very easy to do with the new um, ASP.NET MVC controller architecture. So I'll be showing you how to do that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do um, first is I'm going to go ahead and create a new project in um, Visual Studio 2008, a new ASP.NET NVC um, application. So let me open up Visual Studio 2008. And I'm going to go to File, New Project. And I'm going to select Visual Basic as my programming language. And then select an ASP.NET MVC web application to create over here. And we're going to be creating a store, so I'm going to go ahead and name the new application store and click OK. Now the first dialog box that you get here is, notice it's asking you whether you'd like to create a separate you know, unit test project. And since that's what we're concerned about in this video, we definitely want to do that. Now before I, I go ahead and click OK here, I want to point out that Microsoft has given you a choice here. Um, notice down here where it says test framework, it defaults to using the built-in testing capabilities um, included in Visual Studio um, Professional 2008 and above. Um, that's what we're going to use in this video. We're going to use the unit testing framework built into Visual Studio. But Microsoft has given you a choice. If you're a big fan of InUnit, for example, as a testing framework, you can select that option as well. So you can select another testing framework if, you're, if you have you know, a preference um, in that area. But I'm going to go ahead and stick with Visual Studio, the Visual Studio unit test option, and click OK. Now, if you look over in the Solution Explorer, you notice that two projects are created. The first project up here is the actual ASP.NET MVC application. And then there's a second project down here. That's the test project. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new controller into my ASP.NET MVC application. I want to create a new product controller. So I'm going to select Add, New Item. And I'm going to select a controller class. And I'm going to name it ProductController.VB. And there's the product controller. Notice we get a default um, uh, index action. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another action onto here. I'm going to add a details action. And that will allow us to see product details. 
um, I'm going to go ahead and have it accept an ID parameter so that we can get details for a particular project um, for a particular product and I want it to return a view so I'm going to type in return view now one warning I have to give you here immediately normally um, you can just say return view and view will infer the name of the right view from the name of the controller action so this will return a view called details when you're unit testing if you're interested in actually unit testing that the right view is being returned you don't want to take advantage of this inference you want to be explicit um, that way it's easier to test um, later on so I'm going to go ahead and be whoops that's the wrong name I'm going to be ahead go ahead and be explicit about the particular view that I want to return here so that's my controller um, first thing I want to do is test to make sure that in fact the details view is returned from the details um, action how do I do that well I'm going to go over to my unit test project over here and I'm going to add a new unit test so I'm going to right click on this controllers folder um, I'm going to go to add and I want to go ahead and select this first option right here where it says new test now one big warning here um, this is a very tempting option down here you notice that there's another menu option that says unit test dot 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 that's a very tempting option because we are in fact trying to add a unit test but you don't want to pick that option when you're building an ASP.NET MVC application this is a great option to pick when building a web forms application because what it'll do is it'll automatically generate a unit test that launches a web server we don't want to do that in an MVC application we just want to pick new test the new test option up here and then in this dialog box we want to pick unit test um, don't pick the unit test wizard that's what we're trying to avoid uh, we want to just select unit test okay so um, I'm going to create a unit test and name it product controller test and this will add a new unit test um, class into my unit test project and here's the new um, the new test class now um, you can ignore most of the content inside of this class um, the really important part is any subroutine that starts with test method any subroutine that starts with the test method attribute will be automatically run when you run your unit test so what we want to do is we want to create a test for that controller action that we just created and we want to test that the uh, the details action returns the right view so um, I'm going to start by creating an instance of the controller now before I can create an instance of the controller from my project I need to import the right namespace so up here at the top I'm going to say imports um, store that's the namespace I want and I know in a second I'm going to need to take advantage of the system.web.nvc framework uh, the system.web.nvc namespace because that contains all of the different action results and I'm going to need those um, down here in my test so okay going back down to the test what I want to do here is I want to start by creating an instance of that product controller so we're going to say dim controller as new product controller and then what, I'm, what I want to do is I want to get a result back from calling the details um, action on the product controller it's so going to say dim result as view result and that's going to be equal to controller details and remember it took a parameter so I'm going to pass in two as a parameter and there I have my result now one thing that I want to emphasize here is notice I don't have to do anything like mock the HTTP context I don't have to do anything weird about launching a web server or doing anything with the you know surrounding um, context to getting this to work because this is just like you know working directly with classes I'm just instantiating the classes calling the methods because all that context stuff is taken care of by the MVC framework we can ignore it when we're doing the unit test that makes unit testing this stuff extremely easy okay so we got a result back and I want to make sure that we got the right you know the right view so I'm going to add an assert um, inside of here and I want to check to make sure that we actually got the details view back um, so I can get that by saying result dot view name and now I've finished my unit test let's go ahead and run it I'm going to go ahead and click this icon up here to run all of the tests in the, in the solution you can also hit um, control R A to do the same thing but I'm going to go ahead and click the icon here it goes it's running and you'll notice that hey they all passed so this is the one I just created test details view it worked correctly 
if I uh, if I wasn't returning the right view, um, let's change this to details with an extra S and run the test again. You'll notice it will fail. So the unit test is working correctly here. So um, let me go ahead and fix this. And next thing I want to show you is, well, how can you test that you're getting the right view data back from a controller action? So let me um, switch back to my product controller um, class. And I'm going to modify um, I'm going to modify this this method, this action details, so it, it also returns a particular product um, with the details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, instance of a product. So I'm going to dim product as new product, um, pass in the ID being passed over here, and this is the product name. I'm going to say laptop, and there's a new product. And then I can go ahead and pass that as part of the view data by passing a second parameter into the view when I create it. So um, there, I've modified my controller action to return some view data, and now I want to test to make sure that I'm getting the right view data back. How do I do that? Let me switch back to our product controller test class over here, and I'm going to add in another test. So um, let me copy and paste this guy, our previous test, and I'm going to call this guy um, test details view data that's what we're testing. Um, we again we want to create an instance of the, of the controller, we want to get a result back, but in this case what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get the right view data back. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to try to get a product out of my view data and that should be result dot view data dot model. So that should be passed over as the model property on the view data. And then I'm going to test to see whether or not it says laptop, whether or not the name of the product I'm getting back is, in fact, um, laptop. So it's going to say product.name. And there's my test. And let me go ahead and run this. Let me save it first. I'm going to run this by clicking this icon up here. It's running, and it looks like all of our tests passed. That's what this says right here. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see test details view data. So that was really easy. That was an easy way to test view data. The very last thing that I want to show you is how to test whether a different type of action result was returned from calling a controller action. So, so far we've, we've looked at how we can test view results, but there's other types of things you might do in a controller action other than returning a view. Um, for example, you might want to test that when you call the details action and you don't pass over a valid parameter, you might want to test that you're actually redirected off to the index action. So I'm going to show you how to test that. So um, let me copy and paste this existing test method. And I'm going to rename it to um, test details redirect since we're going to be testing whether this redirects successfully. Um, I can keep the first two lines of the test. I'm going to get rid of the last two lines. And uh, I still want to create a controller. But this time, instead of getting a view result back, what I want to do is I want to get a different type of result back. I want to get a redirect to route result back. And I'm going to get that by passing in an invalid um, ID for a product. So I'm going to pass in a negative one. And what I want to test, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my assert. What I want to test is I want to test to make sure that the person actually gets redirected off to the index action. So I can do that by typing result dot values and then pass in the action value. And what this will do is it'll look up the value of, um, of the action value and check to make sure it's equal to index when I pass in an invalid ID. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and run the test. It's going to fail the first time I run it because you know I haven't written this application logic yet. Um, it has failed. Let's scroll down and see why it failed. It failed because it's telling us that we got a view result back and hey, that's not a route result. So um, that's the expected failure. So let's go back to our product controller class and I'm going to add a little bit of logic here. I'm going to say, you know, if if ID is less than one, then I want to go ahead and um, redirect them. So I'm going to return a, um, a um, redirect to action result and redirect them off to the index action. Um, otherwise, um, they can go ahead and 
do this step down here. So otherwise it's fine, go ahead and return you know, the details view as normal and pass over the product. Okay, so um, let me do a build. Everything, everything built successfully. Let me run my tests. And hey, this is beautiful. Everything passed. So we were able to successfully test whether or not we're getting a redirect back, um, which is what we wanted to test. So, um, so in this video, I've shown you sort of three um, very common tests that you might want to do on a controller action. And hopefully I've, I've conveyed to you the sense of just how easy it is to um, test with the ASP.NET MVC framework. Thank you.